You ever think about sunsets? They're an interesting conundrum. It's a transition point between day and night. At some point, it must be both at once. That balance has got to be in there somewhere. Many people are fighting this every day, trying to make sure the light stays above the dark. Some people even pretend the dark doesn't exist, but it does. If we're talking about light and dark in Star Wars, it's hard not to talk about our prodigal chosen one, Anakin Skywalker. From slave boy to legendary Jedi Knight, Anakin's story travels along a dark path. His story lives as an example of the darkness that lives in everyone, and what happens if one lets it grow too strong. Many would say that Anakin was always doomed to follow this dark path, but others maintain that the Jedi Order failed him. Hiding his secret love and bottling up his emotions can't be constructive, especially for someone who already lost what little he had left. No one should have to deal with someone else's raw emotions. That should be inconvenient for them and make them uncomfortable. While most of the bobbleheads were made in a realistic and detailed way, Anakin here is a part of the series made for the TV show The Clone Wars, so he's stylized like the cartoon. He has a white base with blue text, unlike the traditional black and white of the other figures. Ironically, like Palpatine in Episode 3, I had to put poor Anakin here back together. He shipped me with both of his arms detached, but you know, I'd still maintain he's more man than machine. But that's not how Anakin ended up. His final form came in the monstrous Sith Lord of Darth Vader. When we talk about Anakin's fall to becoming Darth Vader, I think that Obi-Wan put it best. He ceased to be Anakin Skywalker and became Darth Vader. But Obi-Wan's certain points of view aside, Vader lives on as a metaphor for a fall from grace. The once promising, agile young Jedi with a bright future was reduced to a lumbering, wheezing, restricted old Sith. Vader lives on, fueled by the pain from his defeats, but in the end, that proves to be unsubstantial. It's an unfortunate tale, really. And he could never find anyone he could truly hold on to. When he did, he lost her trying to protect her. He convinced himself that the people closest to him were lying to him, and thus put his faith in the wrong people. The isolation must have drove him mad. He gave into the darkness because he probably felt he had no other choice. Well, that's all I have for today. It's getting a little serious around here, so we're going to lighten things up next. We're, uh, we're going to look at a more light-hearted figure. A more light-hearted figure, the lovable droid C-3...